scientists believe that the solar system formed out of a vast cloud of gases and dust that floated among the stars. Eventually, nine planets took shape, each at a different distance from the sun. Four planets formed fairly near the sun. The other five, however, formed very far away. These are the outer planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. As a group, they are far different from the four planets nearest the Sun. Except for Pluto, the smallest planet of all, these planets are huge. Here is the Earth by comparison. But when compared to the Sun, even these giant planets are small. The world's best telescopes don't show the outer planets very clearly because they are so far away. For example, when we look at Jupiter from Earth, we see it only as a hazy disk. But when spacecraft look at Jupiter from nearby, they reveal this magnificent planet in amazing detail. Jupiter is the king of planets. It is more massive than all the other planets and their moons put together. This is not a rocky planet like Earth. In fact, there is no solid surface to stand on because Jupiter is a huge ball of gases and liquids. The whole planet is wrapped in storms. Winds here rage at over 500 kilometers per hour. This feature is the Great Red Spot. It is an awesome storm that is larger than the whole planet Earth. Like other planets, Jupiter rotates. A day here lasts only about 10 hours. But a year, the time it takes Jupiter to travel around the sun, lasts a long time, 12 Earth years. Spacecraft also explored Jupiter's moons. This is just one of at least 15 moons in orbit around Jupiter. This is the moon Callisto. It is as big as some planets. Callisto is quite different from Jupiter. It is a solid body made mostly of ice and some rock. Its surface is peppered with craters that were made a long time ago when it was hit by meteoroids, large chunks of rock speeding through space. Ganymede, the biggest moon in the solar system, is also mostly ice. Another moon, Europa, is almost completely covered with ice. Curiously, its surface is crisscrossed by streaks. Nobody knows for sure what made them. Jupiter is much farther from the sun than the Earth. It gets much less light and heat than we do. Scientists thought that because of the deep cold so far from the sun, all of Jupiter's moons would be frozen solid. But they got a big surprise when they saw the moon Io. Io has many active volcanoes. Computers were used to bring out details in pictures of Io. Then a huge plume of volcanic material could be seen rising from one of the volcanoes. This is the only place other than Earth where we have ever seen volcanic eruptions. Far from being a frozen dead world, Io turned out to be the most active body in the solar system. Far beyond Jupiter is the next planet, Saturn. It is bitterly cold so far from the sun, and the planet gets little light. Every planet has something special that makes it different from all the others. On Saturn, it's the rings, thousands of them. The rings are made almost completely of ice particles. 
Most of the particles are the size of sand grains, but some are as big as boulders or even small mountains. The ring particles orbit the planet like billions of tiny moons. Saturn II is a huge ball of gases, and all that can be seen is the top layer of clouds and storms. Winds here blow faster than anywhere else in the solar system, up to 1,800 kilometers per hour. Saturn has even more moons than Jupiter, at least 17. Many were discovered by spacecraft. The biggest is Titan, which is the only moon in the solar system that has much of an atmosphere. That's what hides the surface from view. On all the other moons of Saturn, craters were found, made when meteoroids collided with the moons long ago. These impact craters are one of the most important recent discoveries about the solar system. Wherever we can get a good look at a solid planet or moon, we see such craters. On Mercury, the planet closest to the sun. On Earth. On our own moon. Mars and its moons all the way to the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. Every one has been, and once in a while still is being, hit by other objects in space. Saturn is the farthest planet we have seen in detail so far. We know much less about the three planets beyond. Uranus is the next planet. It's huge, but it can barely be seen from Earth with the naked eye. Even with a powerful telescope, we can't see Uranus or its moons very well. No spacecraft has been there yet, but one is on its way now. It will see a greenish planet with nine rings and several moons. Uranus seems to be covered by clouds of gases that hide a vast ocean of water and other substances, but no solid surface. Neptune is still farther away. Even if you knew exactly where to look, you couldn't see this planet without a telescope. Neptune is similar to Uranus. It's likely that it also has rings, but scientists aren't sure yet. They'll know more when a spacecraft actually flies past Neptune and its moons. Pluto is the last and smallest planet. Pluto is so far from the sun that it's always night here. It's far too cold for anything to survive. Pluto and its moon are probably dead worlds of frozen gases and ice. As we on Earth look into a starry sky, we can see that there are other objects in space, not just our sun and its nine planets. There are billions of other stars, and many probably have planets and moons in orbit around them. Might some of those distant worlds also be home to living things?